Hey everyone, in this video, we're going to take a look at array indexing and storing values inside of an array while using a while loop. The problem we're going to solve is we're going to determine how long it takes to double in an initial investment in an account with a specified annual rate of return. First, we'll take a look at array indexing and storing values inside of a specific element in an array. Then we'll take a look at a flowchart to visualize each loop pass inside of a while loop and how we can store our account balance in specific elements. Finally, we'll jump into MATLAB to solve our problem together. This is the third part in a four part series on while loops. So if you're unsure what a while loop is, I'd recommend checking out parts one and two, links to which can be found in the description below. Let's get started. In this video, we're going to write a script file to calculate how long it will take to double an initial investment of $1,000 in an account with an annual rate of return of 6%. And we're going to store the end of year account balance inside of an array. Now we know to use a while loop in this problem instead of a for loop because the number of loop passes is not known in advance. In other words, we don't know how many years it will take to double our initial investment. Now let's take a look at the typical structure of a while loop and a partial solution of our problem. First, we're going to take a look at the logical expression. In this case, that our balance is less than $2,000. And so long as this logical expression is true, our program will evaluate these statements. Our variable i is serving as an index, more on that later, and our balance statement states that the current balance is assigned the value of the previous year's balance plus interest. And as soon as our logical expression evaluates as false, our while loop ends and our program proceeds with any lines of code after the end statement. Now I'd like to make two important notes here when working with while loops. The first is that the loop variable must have a value before the while statement. And in this case, the balance is our loop variable. The reason for this is if the balance does not have a value before this logical expression, then the logical expression cannot be evaluated. The second note I'd like to make here is that the loop variable must also be changed by the statements. In other words, if our balance's value does not change, then our balance is always $1,000, and that is never less than $2,000, and therefore our while loop would run indefinitely. We would have an infinite loop. Now let's return to, late to take a look at our index variable and what it's used for. In this case, our index variable i is used to refer to a specific element in an array. So balance of one is the first element in the array balance. And our goal here too is to store the end of year account balance for each year until that balance meets or exceeds a value of $2,000. Now let's take a look at a flow chart to visualize each loop pass and how the current year's balance can be stored inside of an array. Our first step is to initialize our variables. So we have the array index and the initial balance. And so the first element inside of the array balance has a value of $1,000. Next, we proceed to evaluate our logical expression. 
and in this case our balance is less than two thousand dollars so we proceed to execute our statements beginning our first loop pass next we increment our array index by one and what this enables us to do is to store the new balance inside of the second element inside of the array once we've calculated our new balance we have two elements inside of our balance array next we return to our logical expression and again the second element in our array balance does have a value less than two thousand dollars that statement is true and so we begin our second loop pass once again we increase our array index by one so that we can store the next year's balance in the third element inside of the array so now there are three elements inside of our balance array corresponding to the initial balance the balance at the end of the first year and the balance at the end of the second year and this process continues for quite some time so i'm going to quickly walk you through the remainder of our loop passes so this is loop pass four loop pass five loop pass six and you can see the size of the balance array changing loop pass seven eight nine ten eleven and now we arrive at our twelfth and final loop pass so now we increase our array index by one and we are storing a balance in the 13th element of our array and this time the value of our balance is two thousand and twelve dollars so when we return to our logical expression this logical expression now evaluates as false because our current balance is greater than two thousand dollars and thus our while loop ends now what's interesting here is that while there are 13 elements inside of the array it actually only took 12 loop passes and what that means is it actually took 12 years and not 13 years to exceed our value of two thousand dollars now the reason for that is our initial balance prior to accumulating any interest is inside of the first element in the array and so the first element is already occupied prior to our loop beginning now let's jump into MATLAB to solve this problem now that we're in MATLAB our first step is going to be to open a new script file which opens our editor and we're ready to begin so we start by initializing our array index in this case the variable i which has an initial value of one so that we can store a value in the first element of our array balance so to do that we have our variable balance and the first element inside of the array is going to have a value of one thousand dollars that is our initial uh, account balance and i'm going to add a semicolon here to suppress this line of code next we're ready to begin our while loop so we start off with while and matlab will automatically format that text as blue while our current balance and this is why we use an array index while our current balance is less than two thousand dollars which is double our initial investment while that logical expression is true 
the following statements will be evaluated by our program. So our first step is to increment our array index by one. And we do this so that we can store a balance in the second and third and fourth and so on elements inside of the array. What this enables us to do is at the end of the program, we will have a record of our balance for each year. And I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and suppress this line of code as well. So next we evaluate our current balance. So our current balance in this case, that would be the second element inside of the array, is assigned the value of our previous balance. And so notice here that I'm using i minus one. This goes to the previous element inside of the array balance. And now I'm just adding on the interest, assuming an annual rate of return of 6%. And I'm also going to suppress this line so the balance is not output for each loop pass. Next, we're ready to end our while loop. And then you can add any additional lines of code you would like here. So what I'm gonna do is once our while loop is done, we're going to output what the array actually looks like. So you can see how the balance changes with each loop pass corresponding to each year. So now we're ready to save and run our program. So in the editor tab, We'll click save and run and give this a file name. I'm going to use while underscore loop three. And when I click enter, the program will save and run. And what we see here output in the command window is the final value of our balance array. And in this case, there are 13 elements. Now yours may look a little bit different here my font size is increased quite a bit, so yours may present a little bit differently. But what you can see is the first element inside of the array has a value of $1,000. This would be our second element, and so on and so forth until we get to our 13th and final element, which has a value of $2,000 and $12. Now, again, the kind of weird thing here is it may seem like it took 13 years, but it actually only took 12. And again, the reason for that, if we go up back to our editor, you can see that we've already stored a value in the first element in the array, and the while loop, while loop has not yet begun. So inside of the while loop on our very first loop pass, we're actually storing a value in the second element. So what you could do here is a couple of things. Um, one kind of easy solution would be to add a line at the end of your script file. And here's what we'll do. We'll say years, maybe that's our variable corresponding to the number of years is assigned the value of the number of elements inside of our balance array. And we can determine that using the length function. So length, again, is a function that counts the number of elements inside of the array. So that's the number of elements. And what we'll do then is just subtract off one. All right, so now when I rerun my program, our total number of years to double our initial investment of $1,000 is equal to 12. So I hope this video provided you with a good introduction to the use of array indexing inside of a while loop. Thanks for watching. You can find me at David Calamus on Twitter, Instagram, and LinkedIn. If you liked this video and would like to see more, subscribe below.